Hey, hi guys, this is Bakka Pachin Cholikar. Welcome back to tutorial on manual testing interview questions and answers. So let us jump to the today's uh, soft testing interview question. So in the most of the interview, they will, they will be asking you the question like, what is STLC? What is the software testing life cycle? And can you please explain me the different phases of STLC? So in the today's session, we'll discuss uh, how to explain STLC phases, that is software testing life cycle phases. So let us jump to the next slide. We'll begin with uh, one one uh, different phases of software testing life cycle. And uh, what are the different points you need to mention in the each of the phases, we'll discuss. The first phase of software testing life cycle is requirement and requirement phase in this particular phase we will be understanding the requirement and we will be analyzing the requirement and having the brain brainstorming session with the teammates and other team members to find out whether requirement is testable or not and also will be uh, this particular phase also help us to identify the scope of testing if any of the feature is not testable, we can communicate during this uh, requirement phase. So let us jump to the next phase, planning phase. <coughs> Sorry guys. So this is a software testing life cycle, one of the phase. So during this phase, in the real time, this is a very first step to test any of the project, to begin a test on any of the project. So in this phase, we identify the activities and the number of resources required, which would help us to meet the testing objective. And during this plan, during this uh, phase, we also try to trying to identify the different matrix and the different way of gathering and uh, tracking them those matrix that's all you can uh, explain in this uh, planning phase so let us move on to the next phase that is analysis phase so this is a uh, one of the software testing lifecycle phase that is analysis phase during this phase so this particular phase defines what to be tested so basically we identify the test conditions through the requirement documents based on the product risk and the other test basis and once that we identify the test conditions all those conditions should be traceable back to the our requirement document so let us let me mention you the few conditions few factors what we will be considering in the analysis phase for uh, what to be tested one is the first point is level and depth of testing you are doing on the particular project and complexity of the product and based on the product risk are involved in while testing and it depends on the software or development life cycle and also it depends on the skills and the knowledge of the team so these are the factors you can mention in the analysis phase so let us move on to the next phase that is design phase so in this phase so this particular uh, and design phase defines how to be tested all those requirements so let let me mention you the few points for uh, the design phase so we detail the test conditions so we break down those particular test conditions into the sub conditions so the testing is so the testing will be easy and the next point is 
for the design phase is identify and get get the test data that is required for uh, testing any of the scenarios and the next point is identify and the set the environment and the next point is create the requirement traceability matrix for the requirement document and create the document for test coverage say for example you have one requirement document so what sort of what percentage of that particular requirement document is completed for the requirement phase analysis phase and the design phase for the particular requirement document and the next stlc phase i have is implementation phase so this is a major phase in the stlc process so during this process we create the detailed test cases and we prioritize our test cases and also we identify the which which are our test cases will be become of the regression suit and before finalizing the, our test cases it is very important to take the sign out of the each of the test cases to make sure the correctness of the test cases once the once we take the sign off of the each of the test cases for the particular requirement before moving on to the next phase that is execution phase so basically in this implementation phase we write the test cases and we prioritize our test cases and we also decide the what are the different test cases belong to the regression suit so let us move on to the next step that is that is next phase execution phase this is the stlc process sixth phase we have that is execution phase in this execution phase we execute all our test cases and depends on the priority for the each of the requirement and each of the modules once we are done with the execution phase sorry execution phase we will move on to the last phase that is that is where we complete the stlc process on the any of the given project so last stlc process phase i have is conclusion and closure phase in this particular phase we share the dsr that is daily status report to the customers to the customers and the stakeholders and also we share that depends on the customer we we share a dsr that is daily status report and it depends on the customer also and we share the wsr that is weekly status report and also we make sure that we have completed with all of executing all the test cases which are there in our test plan based on the requirement document what we have written and also we will be make making sure there will be a no severity one defect is in open status or uh, severity one or priority one defect in open status so that's all i have in this session if you have any questions regarding manual testing interview questions or what we have discussed in this tutorial please comment in the comment section of this below video if you like this particular video please click on subscribe button and also share with your friends and colleagues and also don't forget to click on like button thank you thank you so much for watching this tutorial on manual testing interview questions and answers